Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Forge. Let us begin. Actually, before we begin, let's go into our quest decks and uh, fix our green deck because right now it's only got 59 cards. Because if you remember, we lost we lost the last duel uh, to our opponent. Basically, we lost because. Uh, I I I didn't play properly and I didn't focus towards the end of the run even though I should have. So let's let's see if we can correct this. So basically what we lost was a Bramble with Behemoth, I believe. Even though I already have two copies of this. Fuck it, let's just add another one of them. So uh, do we have another copy of Bramble with Behemoth? Let's let's sort by uh uh, name alphabetically So it's bramble Wift. B. here we go. We've got another copy of this. So let's add it to our deck And now our deck is at 60 cards again. We we need to be at the target 60 cards just to be able to play properly I feel anyway Like the game will allow us to play with 59 cards as well, but I think it's better to f to have the uh, the deck at the 60 card limit Let's start. Okay, so now we're ready to begin a new duel. I'll keep my current hand. We already summoned Doom Traveler, which is a 1 slash 1 human soldier with when Doom Traveler dies, create a 1 slash 1 white spirit token with flying. So that really sucks. We really have to take that into consideration. I already have something to block a flying creature with. Thankfully, it's Scrib Sprites. Actually, let's summon this right now. Just because we can. Yeah, let's let's end our turn. We summon Grand Abolisher, which is a 2 slash 2 human cleric creature, which has, during your turn, my opponent's turn, your opponents can't cast spells or, or ac activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. It doesn't say instance, though. So I think that means I'm I can still use instances. I don't fucking know. We'll see. Let's use an enchantment. Wait, we can't. We don't have enough mana for that just yet. So let's uh, let's end our turn for now. He's going to attack us with both. And I really don't like that, but I will let his attack, attacks pass through. He summoned Fencing Gaze, which is a creature with double strike. It's got 1 slash 1 uh, power. That's uh, that's pretty bad. Let's see if we can defeat him. First things first, let's... Uh, I kind of want to use Cartouche of Strength. You may have enchanted creature fight against creature and opponent controls. You know what? Yeah, I will use this. Now let's destroy the creature that has double strike just because that's... Actually, do we want to destroy this particular creature? Honest to God, I don't think it really matters because when you get down to it, double strike, while it is a really useful... Actually, no, let's just remove it. I don't want to have to deal with that. I think this is acceptable. Let's move on. So he used... What did he use? He used shoulder to shoulder to put two plus one plus one counters on, uh, on Grand Abolisher and Doom Traveler. So one plus one plus one counter for each of them. And he also drew a card from that. That's a really fucking useful card. Okay. Let's think about this thoroughly. I don't want to block him. Just yet. Although I'm kind of in a bad position. I really am in a bad position. Let's end our turn. And let him... He's going to attack us again. I really, really want to use a uh, gift of strength on, on scrib sprites. 
I want to see if this works. He also uses Moment of Heroism, which is a 2 slash 2 instant, in which he gains, in which one of his creatures will get, uh, no, one of his creatures will get plus 2 plus 2 and also gain lifelink until the end of the turn. So he's going to use it on one of his creatures. He uses it on Doom Travel. Let's see if I can cast my own instant right now, because I'm curious whether Grand Abolisher prevents me from casting my instant or not. I have the mana to cast it, give the strength at least. Yes, so I can cast... Wait, can I? No, I cannot. He prevented me from, from using that. So that really fucking sucks. I cannot cast instants at all. I don't have the mana to proceed anyway. And this just sucks. I want to block him and I really want to use Gift of Strength. But I just I, I just cannot use his ability. Uh, I don't think this is going to help actually. Do I have enough? No, I don't think I have enough. I still don't have enough mana. Like this is my main problem with my green deck. I just do not ha I don't ever have enough mana to play the good cards. I just don't. So I'll I'll end my turn but there's nothing I can do. I just died. Okay, let's play let's try this again. Mana is always my fucking weakness in this game. So I get to start because I lost the last battle. The match is not over yet though. Let's put down another forest. And let's summon Bitter Blade Warrior, I guess. Because that's the only thing we can summon. Okay, so he can't do anything just yet. Let's put down another forest and let's summon Scrib Sprites, which has flying. Now let's attack him with Bitter Blade Warrior and I will exert it. Wait, what did Bitter Blade Warrior do when it's exerted? I may exert it when I do, it gets plus one plus zero and gains death touch until the end of turn. Oh, that's nice. I, I really like my own cards. So he summoned Aerial Responder, which is a 2 slash 3 creature with flying, vigilance and lifelink. And right now I'm screwed because I can't do anything again due to lack, lack of mana. This is a really huge theme around this my fucking videos apparently. So let's end our turn. There's nothing more we can do. So he he cast Grasp of the Heromancer, which is an enchantment uh, spell card to enchant his aerial responder and give it uh, plus one plus one, I guess. And it also has the ability of when this creature attacks, tap target creature, defending player controls. Fuck, that's annoying. So he prevents me from blocking him. I really need some brute force. I only have 4 mana. Can I do anything with this 4 mana? No, I cannot. 4 mana is not nearly enough. So we'll have to defend ourselves. This really fucking sucks. I will block him with, with Scream Sprites even though this won't do me much good. I'm just not buying time in this moment to gain mana. He summoned Odric Master Tactician which has first strike and whenever Odric Master Tactician and at least three other creatures attack, you choose which creatures block this combat and how those creatures block. Fuck me, that's terrible. I don't have the resources. I don't have the resources to fight him. How much mana do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I only have 5 cards. That's just not enough. That's simply not enough. I still need one extra fucking... I still need one extra forest card. Can I cycle? Because that's the only thing that I can have at this point. I need to cycle in order to get better cards. You, when you cycle Shefet Monitor, you may search your library for a basic land and a de or a desert card. Yes, this is what I need. Give me a fucking forest, baby. That's what I need. I desperately need that. 
Okay, so we get another creature which is entirely useless, but I do get one last uh, forest. And this is what I genuinely needed. I can block him. Oh, fuck me, this is just isn't good. How, how much mana do I have? I have six mana. I can summon honor the oh, I draw five, but I think this is too little too late. I don't think this is going to count that much. He's going to attack me with everything he has. I'm going to block his Sun Titer with my Bitter Blade Warrior just to block some of the damage. Ah! That was so much longer. I really need to block him way in a way better way than I did up until now. Because at this point we are just fucking screwed, my man. We're fucking screwed. Let's summon Skilled Behemoth because it's got some really nice uh, stats. It's hexproof as well. But yeah, this is too little too late. Like, he can fucking... Yeah, he can... He just own me. Okay, so I lost again. Let's correct our deck. This is just re fucking ridiculous. We cannot play like this. Like, the mana requirements are still too fucking crazy. We cannot work with this. It's just... We have good cards in our hands, but those cards... I, I, I can never fucking play them because of their steep mana costs. There has to be a middle ground and we're not there yet. So let's... Let's remove one Sheffield monitor. No, let's remove one... One Bramble Behemoth, because we've got three copies of this one card. Let's remove another Bramble Behemoth. Let's remove a Skilled Behemoth. Let's remove a Greater Sandworm. And now let's remove filter out any card that's not a pure green card. And let's just try to get, add more creatures. So no lands. Yes, creatures. No enchantments. No instants. No sorceries either. So basically what we need is... Uh, what we need is basically way more... Uh, Way more creatures which have a lower ma mana cost. So let's sort by mana value and let's add some of those. Let's go for stuff that goes for f 3 mana or less. Maybe even 4 mana, we'll see. So we need to reach our target of 60 cards. Right now we have uh, 55 cards. We need to add 5 extra cards. So let's see which which cards we can add. Wait, this is this mana value? No, that's not mana value. This is... What the hell is this? This color makes no no sense. It's free, but it doesn't say what free. Ah oh, no, this is that was a colossal of dread mount. Never mind. Yeah, let's go with this. So, watchful naga. You may exert watchful naga. It is it attacks when you draw you draw a card. And that's not that great. Thriving Rhino. When Thriving Rhino enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Whenever Thriving Rhino attacks, you may pay two energy counters. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. You know what? This sounds good. I will add one of these. Sidewind, Sidewinder Naga. It's a free slash two creature, which adds as long as you control a desert or there is a desert card in your graveyard, Sidewinder Naga gets plus one, plus zero and has trample. I don't have any desert cards in my in my uh, deck though. Ronas the Indominatable. It's a god legendary creature card which has death touch and indestructible just for free mana. Ronas the Indominatable can cannot attack or block unless you control another creature with power of four of great or greater. Two if I were to use one green mana and two other mana, another creature gets plus two plus zero and also gains trample until the end of turn. This sounds like a really good creature. You know what? I will add this to my deck. Actually, I will add this in multiple... Ah, I can't. I don't have more copies of it. That really sucks. 
So we've got another dinosaur called Ravenous Dagger Tooth, which is a, a dinosaur, free slash two dinosaur card, which has when Ravenous Dagger Tooth is still damaged, you gain two life. Uh, not that bad. I guess I will add it to my deck. Then we have Ramun up ex excavator, which has which is a two slash three Naga Clary creature, which has you may you may play land cards from your graveyard. That's quite cool, but uh, my land cards usually don't end up in the graveyard. We've got Prowling Serpopard, which is a cat snake four slash three creature, which has pro Prowling Serpopard cannot be countered. And creature, creature spells you control can be countered. This is really useful, actually. Let's add this. And another copy of it. Okay, so we fixed our deck. You know what? Let's play another m match. I'll try to make this a quick one. Just because I, I'm feeling in a great uh, mood of today. And I want to test out my new deck. I'm hoping this will fix the uh, issues that we keep having on our, with our deck. Okay, so he already summoned Ruthless sniper which is a human archer or one slash two human archer which has whenever you cycle or discard the card you may pay one mana if you do put a minus one minus one counter uh on target creature that's terrible okay we don't have the mana to cast any of these so let's just wait it out he, he will attack me it sucks let's put on another forest creature we can finally summon f a feral prowler which is a pretty useful creature. He summoned Wasteland Scorpion, which is terrible. Can I do anything about him? Creatures you control gain hexproof until the end of turn. They can they can be the targets of spells or abilities your opponent controls. Mm, I don't know if that would that would work against the uh, Death Touch though. But I can finally summon Apronas the, the Indominatable. Okay, so he does attack me. I will. I cannot block with Ronas because he's pretty. Uh, he cannot block until I get a creature with power of 4 or greater. So let's block with uh, Feral Prowler. Feral Prowler won't actually no. Let's not block him because f f oh, Feral Prowler doesn't even. Or you know what? Yeah, let's block with him because we we will get to draw a card at the end of it. Ah! Okay, so we get an extra four card. Okay, so we have a lot of mana cards now. I I I really like this. Sadly, it's not it's not enough to use. But it's a pretty significant amount. Mm. So to summon a colossal dread maw, we need two green mana plus four other mana. So basically four, six mana. We only have four. Wait, do we have four? Yeah, we do have only four mana. So we're not in the position to fucking summon that just yet. <laughs> Well, I have nothing to tank my the damage with, so that really sucks. We need just one more turn. One one last turn to absorb all the damage. Oh fuck me, we're so screwed. Let's call let's summon Colossal Trip. So he's attacking us with Shadow Storm Vizier, which has flying and which has whenever you cycle or discard a card, Shadow Storm Vizier gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. So he's attacking me with that. And because it's got flying, I cannot block it with anything which I have. And that really sucks. I really wish I had a creature with reach. I, maybe that was something I should have rather focused on, but at the, the end of the day, I don't have it. Okay, let's... We can't do anything. Let's wait it out. What did he do? He just summoned final reward. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I cannot... 
Wait, can I block? I can still block, but I don't think it's gonna do anything for me. I mean, I guess I should block. I should block anything. Yeah, let's just block that, but I don't matter that much. Yeah, we're screwed. We're just fucking screwed. Let's let's play another one. God damn it, the mana is still a problem for me. You know what? Yeah, let's let's keep our hand. Let's go with a forest and let's summon Willy Bandar. As for free mana, Willy Bandar gains indestructible until the end of turn. It's not much, but it's something. No more mana for us, so let's just end our turn. No, let's attack him actually. Still no more mana, so let's attack him again. Okay, so he did something. I don't know what he did. I think he summoned Exile again. He, no, he summoned, he cast Splendid Agony, which distributed my two minus one minus one counters on my Willy Bandar and killed it because it got to, to two negative life. Oh fuck, that sucks. I don't have the, the mana necessary to do anything else. So let's... Now we do. So let's summon. Wait, what could we summon? I guess not what I wanted. We. Fuck. Ah, yes, we can summon Prowling Serpopard. Might as well do that. He's, start, he's starting to summon uh, a lot, which I really dislike. I'm saving my cards for stuff that's, that are really annoying, like uh, f fucking uh, flying creatures and shit. So let's... Uh, let's summon Cartouche of Strength. And let's attack one of his Hekna Sentinels. Like the problem with this deck is that it takes a really long time to build up your to build it up properly. And that really sucks. Okay, we've got a jackal or resilient Kenra. You know what? Let's resilient when resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until the end of turn, where X is resilient Kenra's power. You know what? Let's do that with, with prowling Serpo Pard. And now let's attack him with Prowling Serpo Bard. I think he's going to block me. Oh, or not, never mind. So he will attack me with Hecknot Sentinels, which, and I will block it with uh, my Brazilian Kenra. Ah! We get another forest. And now I think we have enough mana. Actually, do I. Let's think about this. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got exactly 5 uh, forest mana cards. To internalize Resilient Kenra, we need 6 mana. Which really sucks. So we don't have the mana necessary to do that. But we do have the mana necessary to summon Rona's the Indominatable. So let's summon it. it. It can't do any immediate damage just yet, but it's good to have over here. Vizier of Sands and tap another target permanent to recycle Vizier of Sands and tap target permanent. Okay, that's that's cool. Okay, let's let's put another cartouche of uh, Shuren from Prowling Serpo Bard. Uh, let's target uh, one of his creatures. I don't know which one is more valuable. I guess a Hecna Sentinel just because it's a 2 slash free creature. Ah! So let's use that. Honestly, we have a pretty decent setup at this point. We are very tanky. 
He summoned Rick Haven, which is an enchantment card, so he needs to enchant it to something, which has whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one mana. If you do, create a 2 slash 2 blue drake creature token with flying. Fuck that. That, that really sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that really sucks. We do not want that. You know what? I'm gonna go straight for attacking. We do not want this against the city. We finally get another fucking forest card. Let's. Um... Wait, where's my. Where's my creatures? I wanted to eternalize my my uh, my Kenra. I think he did something to re exile them. Did he do something to exile them? Yes, he did. So he did something to exile my creatures. I don't know what he did. Yeah, I don't know what he fucking did. He did something to remove my creatures. So we cannot eternalize that creature anymore. You know what? That's fine. It is what it is. We can finally summon Shefet Monitor again though. So let's do that. And now we can finally attack him intensely right now. So we finally won. Fucking finally. Now it's time for the last match. It's best two out of three. So let's see who's the boss. He gets to start. Let's enjoy this for what it is. He didn't do anything. Let's put down another card. Let's summon Feral Prowler. And then next turn I might summon Initiate's Companion. I have a lot of cat creatures now that I look into my deck. He summoned Seeker of Insight, which, which is a 1 slash 3 human wizard, which has, when tapped, draw a card, draw a card and discard a card. Activate this ability only if you cast a non-creature spell this turn. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's think about this. Let's put down another forest card. Okay, now we want to summon a prowling serpopard, I think. Yeah, let's go with this. We summon the Kefne the Mindful, which is a 5 slash 5 flying indestructible creature that ca that cannot attack nor block unless he has seven or more cards in his hands right now he has f only four okay so he cannot use that just yet but we're in for a lot of trouble if he gets to use that let's not give him the chance to do so let's um, let's just uh, attack him with everything we've got <laughs> Okay, so he summoned Hekna Sentinels. Okay, that makes sense for him. Let's uh, target creature gets plus five plus five until the end of turn and must be blocked this turn in Fable. And we might use that later on. Let's summon Cartouche of Strength. And uh, let's uh, use Cartouche of Strength on Prowling Serpo Part. Just to give it an extra edge. And let's have it fight. I don't fucking know. Let's have it fight a Hekna Sentinels. Ah! Okay, so we survived that. Yeah, this is quite good. We're making progress. What did he just do? He used the. Uh... He cast Comet, which which targeted my my prowling Serpopard. And he put my prowling serpo part from the uh, two from the top of its owner's library. I don't know what that means, but whatever. 
Okay, so we get more mana. The more mana we get, the more build-up we can have, which is always nice. How much mana do we have? I think we have five. Yeah, we only have five mana. Uh, let's see about this. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's... Fuck me. Let's cast the Cartouche of Strength on Initiate's Companion. And let's attack his Seeker of Insight. And now we can also strike him. Whenever Initiate's Companion deals combat damage to a player, untap creature or land. Sure, let's untap Initiate's Companion. So, he has 5 cards in his hand, so he can, he still cannot use Kefnir the Mindful just yet, which is nice. Let's, uh, let's summon a Prowling, uh, let's summon Prowling Serpopard once again. Let's attack him once again. So he is on the defensive, he is losing a lot of power, which sucks for him. I think we might win this match, I think this might be the one in which we win. We have enough strength to, brute strength to fuck him over. Let's just attack him with everything we've got. Ah! He's had one life only. Yeah, I think we won. He summoned Shadow Storm Vizier, but I don't think that's going to matter. It's a flying creature, but it won't matter that much. Let's put down a forest card, then we can finally summon Shefed Monitor. Yeah, let's actually summon it. Shifted Monitor is our greatest uh, damage dealer at this point in time. Let's focus on it. So let's deal damage to him. That's going to be enough to kill his Shadow Storm Vizier. And also to defeat him. So we finally won a match with this fucking deck. It's been difficult, but we finally managed to do it. Let's see what we get. If it's a green card, I might consider adding it immediately to my deck. We get a Violent Impact, which is a red card, not really what I wanted. It's a sorcery that costs 1 red mana and 3 other mana, which has destroy target artifact or land, and you may or, or, or cycle the card for 2 mana. Yeah, that's, that's... That can be useful, but not that much. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.